Hello, uh, welcome back to the new new content. We're gonna see what the new new content is. Oh, good. You notice my sign. <laughs> I, very I almost see. missed it, honestly. Could have done a little better with the sign. Something a little, a little bigger, a little more in your face. I'm a little sad that I don't get to be a. Uh, uh, a desert wasteland hermit. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what happened last episode. We 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 waited until the end of time and walked into the the you desert see, to die. <laughs> I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. Mm. The original I'm not Stanley disappointed. Parable was a landmark. And any new content for it should live up to that legacy. We got a so jump circle. This ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. Wow. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An Whoa. entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Why, there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. It's amazing. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Yes. Yes, that's all fans want is a sequel to anything. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Oh, yeah. Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? Yeah, it doesn't but even matter Stanley if it's Parable the same game, two. mostly. Now, if you call it 2, people will want it. Right there. Just it's like Overwatch 2. You know? <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna get started on that. And long-term franchising potential. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be. Scrum. But let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Here we wow. Are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Hear your name in the game. Wow. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first mm. and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game wow. is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Oh. Isn't that wonderful? That is. That's incredible. Jim. That's so, right. I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. Hmm. But of course, in the final so, game, my middle name is Jim. Say your name, whatever name that is. Here. The Jim. Have you role play as Jim okay, to really easy. simulate the full experience of this feature? Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim, mm -hmm. sleeping and waking as Jim. I'm Jim. Falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim. I'm Jim. Seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim. I'm Jim. As Jim watching your dreams crumble into dust. <laughs> I'm Jim. Do you feel it deeply? Are you really truly Jim. Jim right now? Jim. If so, then please step forward and press the button. Jim. Jim. <laughs> Jim. Yes, you see. What a thrill. What a rush. That was you. The that was me. You. Do it I'm again. Do Jim. It again. Jim. Ooh. Jim. It hits even harder Jim. the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Behold, Let's for I am Jim. From the Jim button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. Oh, I don't know. I like being Jim. Oh, there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be <laughs> too much Jim. I'm putting the Jim button away. Otherwise, hey. Otherwise, you'll start to lose all sense of who you actually are. But I'm actually Jim. No. No. <laughs> 
You can't do this to me. You, you can't just give me something and take it away. You can't. You can't just. You can't just tell me I'm Jim and then take away my whole identity. I. I. I, I don't know who I am. If I'm not Jim, who am I? Uh, I have to be Jim. Okay, I'm over it. I'm still Jim, though. It's fine. I don't need a button to be Jim. I can just be Jim. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable too. That would we'll actually save me the work of finishing this. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Oh, sorry. Didn't yes, mean to cut him off. Yes, it will go at the end of the... Um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. Ooh. A free, new, and easy achievement? I love achievements. I like a free achievement. I love it. I love- I looked at the achievements for this game and I feel upset that I probably can't 100% it because one of the achievements is don't play for 10 years. And if that's literal, then I doubt I'm ever going to end up getting that because I'm not going to remember to come back to this game in 10 years and get my achievements. Wow. Get, get, I have a feeling now, this isn't going to work. Special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Wow. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Is it? That sounds pretty simple. Jim likes that. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Ugh. Right now, the achievement you is still fully broken. Asshole. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee You're it not. will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. Well, I feel very, very ripped off. You better give me some kind of achievement for doing all this crap. Looking at your crappy second game. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Go this way. Please no screenshots. Hmm. Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy 12th Birthday. Which would you go with? Uh, mm. I like, I like this. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. <laughs> Happy 12th birthday, step niece. Mm, I should have known. I should have known. Should have picked the one I, I didn't like. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, but I like it. It's a good idea. It's a good concept. I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. Merch. Merch! Family Parable Reassurance Bucket. Where? Bucket? Oh. Wow. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. That it engendered a chaotic sense of recklessness. It, there's nothing here. Who played it. Well, there's nothing in I'm here. I'm happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem. But there's, today. it's empty. It's gone. It's the Stanley Parable. Now nah, there it is. Reassurance bucket. You see, Stanley. Oh, so dramatic. You're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long wow. as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. What if I puke you in the may bucket? You even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes. The bucket is hmm. the perfect solution. No, it's a good Come idea. On, give it a try. Oh, wow. May I? <laughs> Can you feel it? 
The glow of comfort, even mm. in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. It's lovely. I'm going to take it. Can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma? May I throw up in it? I think oh. that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. Wow. The if I throw up in it, is it still reassuring? Wrong, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. Can I? I can keep the bucket. Great. I will keep the bucket. Wow, they really, they really put some Does detail into this bucket. For most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. Uh, where haven't I gone? I've gone everywhere. I think, maybe not. Here. Wow. Mm-hmm. Consistent quality with just the right amount of change. Schween shaders. Wow. Okay, this way. Ah, there's the exit. The infinite hole. I gotta see that. Ooh, and the jumps are... I don't have any jumps left. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley. I knew I should have saved some jumps. I could have done some now. Oh, wait, you already spent all your jumps <laughs> the first time we saw the jump circle. Hmm. Oh well. Ah. I suppose shit. it would just be a nice decorative piece then. I'm disappointed in myself. What? What infinite hole? Oh right, I went that way last time. Come on, bucket. I'll throw you into the infinite hole, maybe. Hmm. Wow, very... Hmm. Very scientific. It, ju <laughs> it just keeps going. This reminds me of... Uh, fuck. The Junji Ito <laughs> uh, comic with the, Stanley, here's an idea with the holes. I'm Everyone has their own hole. I forget the name. Before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Wow. Infinite falling. You can that fall sounds great. the end of time if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. You see, isn't it wonderful? Yeah. One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top. Maybe I just want to keep falling. Forward. Uh... Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, I kinda... but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. The Enigma of Amigara Fault. That's the... the go read that. It's a scary thing okay, about holes. <laughs> I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, I had to look but it's it up. possible that I slightly <laughs> exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. The... <laughs> oh, Is really? Very, very deep hole? I'll sue you for false advertising, bitch. It's an extremely deep I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of it's infinity. It's just a pinhole of light. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. Oh, everything is pitch black. Oop. Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the oh, hole. I thought I would die. You found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat and you're so Meeting at 2 p.m. Look. I think the issue here is just that mm -hmm. you're unusually fascinated by falling. Butts, butts, butts. What normal person actually but, wants but, to but. fall infinitely? I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. <sighs> Look, uh, things got a little heated there. Oh, everything. I get it. Everything's too. Roman numeral 2, 2 p.m. behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly That's infinite. a good song. I like that, that song. Works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and but, we can move on. But maybe I want to live down here with my bucket. But maybe I want to live down here with my bucket. It's really nice. It's pretty roomy for for a hole, you know. It's enough room to walk around, lay down. I've got a mug. I've got cigarette butts. I can I can suck some aroma out of them probably. <laughs> Because, you know, if I'm stuck at the bottom of a hole, why not take up smoking or smokeless smoking of used cigarette butts? Why not? I could eat them. 
Yeah, I have sustenance. I have I have a bucket, so I have a bathroom and or puke hole for when I get sick from eating the cigarette butts. Uh, it's great. You're not gonna say anything else? All right. Okay, we'll go. We'll leave the lovely, lovely hole. Goodbye, hole. Great. Now, mm. I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Okay, I have to. Oh, for heaven's sake, <laughs> you see. I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes mm. too much. Not normal. Mm. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all. But, but it's not, not infinite. Oh, no, 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 I already no. know it's not it's infinite, though. Sort of Oh, that was quicker than last time. Did the hole seem even <laughs> shorter to you this time? Yes. I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I, I mean, did. Admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Okay. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. But the bottom's like gonna I be really right there. Have so much more to show you and to talk about. Gosh, how could I have guessed <laughs> you're back in the hole? <laughs> I like the hole. The thing. hole's great. Huh? Wow. wow. Okay. Yes. It's a very unimpressive hole. I've become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. Mm -hmm. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep. Even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Mm. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Yeah, see, now you like the hole too. Now you're interested well, in the is. hole. Oh, the shame of my wow. eyes come to haunt. How is this still appealing to you? I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh. Who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. I didn't mean to cut him off again. I didn't think he'd restart. Hmm. Doesn't doesn't it's work. The, um, teleport button not working. No. Nope. Trapped in a you teeny sure? tiny hole. Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. It was working. Too bad I don't have any jumps Let's left. Try it again. Nope. Still Pop. nothing. Well, I suppose I, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. You oh, couldn't bear goodbye. to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked. For. Wow. It's a win for everyone. It is. You Thank get to you. Be with the hole, I get to do literally anything else. Sounds good. Take care, Stanley. You take care. I hope you and the hole. It's Jim. Also. Okay. I like the hole. The hole is good. It's nice. Feels safe in here. Uh, now it doesn't because there's ominous sounds. Hmm. Ah. Oh, it's sinking. Well, good. I get more hole. Yay! <laughs> My hole comes back. my perspective. Hmm. <laughs> oh. That's what Stanley looks like. Very nondescript. Just an average looking fellow. Change my perception. I like this one.
Ugh, spider music. Oh, wow. This one's interesting. <laughs> You're no longer using up the space of mine. Change my reality. I'm just changing the filter. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. I right, that one's nice. Uh, aw. Aw, that's good. Hmm. Change myself. That combination. Nice. Stanley? Stanley? Mm, Stanley? Yes. Huh? Oh, good. You're awake. It seems you had sort of dozed off. I thought you were leaving me forever. To mm. We can't have that, Stanley, because this hole is just so darn fascinating. Ah, uh, okay. I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. I agree. So how about it's if great. I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really, truly focused on the hole? Okay. From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole. Great. And I'm looking forward Nothing to better to do. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Toodle pip. Toodle pip. Toodle pip. Toodle pip. Nope. Is it over? Am I just going to be in my office again? No, no, I'm not. I'm back at the beginning of, of this. Here we are. Go on. But I still have my bucket. So. Uh. Uh. Well, I think I've <laughs> mostly infinite hole now. I think I've seen everything. So I probably. Except collectibles, I guess. Probably can't exit after this. Yep, collectibles. Mostly infinite hole. Not very infinite anymore. It's not even a little bit infinite. Ah, and collectibles. Now it's a real video Yes, game. In that's the true. Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. Hmm. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. Awesome. This this is... I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like all the reaching hands. Wow. That feels good. I do like to see the number go up. Can you find them? Can you find them? Can you find them? Are there going to be more throughout everything? God, it or? really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. Are there actually more of them around or... Yeah, this is the exit. I'm kind of tempted to just exit because I've been in here for so damn long and I have a short attention span. And I would have just gone in there first if I thought there was going to be stuff to collect everywhere. I'll take a glance around. If I see one, then I'll know there's more to get. But I don't know that there was. Collectibles? Are there collectibles? I don't see any. Maybe I get them once I exit. <laughs> Why else would they put collectibles at the very end, right? Let's go. Let's go, Bucket. I'm stealing. 
the reassurance bucket, which I will eventually turn into the vomit bucket. All right. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Ready to move on now? Yeah. Yes, I am. I f I, mm, I'm a little worried there's collectibles to get, and I'm not getting them. <laughs> but that's okay. I can come back and do it another time. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? They're great. Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet They're how awesome. exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. It's, it's a There's great idea. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, is this another an infinite hole? I'll arrange these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. I think it looks um, great. Well, um, I mean, there's potential here. Right? Uh, don't don't feel bad. Sort of, okay, I'm second guess right. yourself. It looks great. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. Okay. Yes. Yes. This is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version two. Oh, it's <sighs> even better. Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent. Oh, the jump video circle is all. around the hole. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well... Insert a few of my new features into it. Mm -hmm. it is free, yeah, that's what everyone seems with to do respect, with sequels. With care for the vision and integrity of the original <coughs> Overwatch game. 2. <coughs> would it possibly work? I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. Oh, of course. A title course. screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, This is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Amazing. I think this is probably a good time <laughs> to stop. And next time, we will play the Stanley Parable 2. Hmm. Alright. Thank you so much. And goodbye.